What's up guys? In today's Yum Yum Adventure, we are hanging around Peterfield's Market and we're on a quest for some street food. Let's go! Spitalfields Market is a giant roof market that hosts many boutiques, artisan stores and food counters. You'll find arts, crafts and many unique bits and bobs to purchase. But today, we are here mainly to explore the street food vendor area. The place offers so many types of cuisine of the world that it is easy to get lost in all these options. For all of you guys with a sweet tooth, Hospital Feeds Market got you covered too with many delicacies. For our first stop, we order at a Caribbean store which display very enticing meat dishes. Uh, we order a jerk chicken at the Cafe Caribbean. Uh, I wanted to try like Caribbean food for a while. I was happy to see they had the stores here in Spitalfield Market. I have here a jerk chicken with some pan rice, some salads and lots of spicy sauce. It's very good. This sauce is a bit spicy, but a really nice cake. It's very, very peppery. There's a lot of peppercorn in there. Mm. It's very nice. The sauce is very thick, very creamy. At first glance, it doesn't look that appetizing, isn't it? But I swear when she gave me some for tasting, it was awesome. I'm a huge fan of rice with sauce, so let's try this one. Mm. The rice is quite different. Caribbean rice is like smaller, thinner, and the mouth is like it breaks down pretty easily. They try the rice with some chicken and some sauce. The chicken is juicy. You can shred it quite easily. Let's try some salads just to add some veggies in there. Nice and crispy. It's fresh and since the sauce is on top of it, it's very salty. Yeah. Let's try the skin. The chicken skin. Taste fantastic. The jerk chicken was quite salty, so I thought it would be great to mix everything all together and just to remove all the chicken meat and just mix it with the rice, the black beans, and the salad and the sauce. And at the end, it tastes very good. Not as salty as before. I thought it was salty because I was eating it with a spoon, like a spoonful of sauce. So obviously the texture is going to be very rich. But mixed together, pretty good balance. For our next world food destination, we opted for Chinese dumplings. So I've, I've got some Shenzhen Bao, which are uh, pan-fried dumplings with pork and soup in there. It's similar to uh, Xiaolong Pao, but these ones are a little bit um, seared on the bottom. I put some extra vinegar on top. Let me try this. Soup is good. It's oozing out. <laughs> It's very hot. It's burning my mouth. <laughs> it's so delicious. The bottom is, is nicely pan fried. And the soup is just burning my mouth. <laughs> it's quite so over. <laughs> Two seconds. This is just not working. <laughs> Sadia looks like half of the soup. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, it tastes good. <laughs> the part where it's seared, it's a bit tougher. Not a fan personally because as you've seen, I struggle to bite into it. And by the time I actually achieve to bite into it, all the soup is in my jerk chicken. So, but the feeling is good. Well, I, I had a tiny bit of it, but... Yeah, filling is good. At least you got a bit of the soup left in there. Not bad, not bad. Continuing our Chinese tasting session, we order a savory vegetarian crepe from Pleasant Lady. Uh, next up, we got some Chinese crepes with some egg from Pleasant Lady. It smells very fresh. There's a lot of onion and coriander in there, and they put some crispy special secret thing in there. And try this. Mm. Very herby. Extremely messy. Coriander is very strong. I feel like I'm I'm just feeling like I'm eating some grass beef. It's okay. Not a fan. Too much herbs. Just a tiny bit disappointed. 
That's true, there's a lot of herbs in there. But I only feel the herbs. And that's a lot of herbs. I'm not a fan either. Usually I'm a huge, huge fan of coriander, right? I love it in pho, I love it like anything on the side, with sprinkle on top, love it usually. But this, this. I know it's because of the herbs or the fact that there's like maybe some more protein missing in there. But um, yeah, not a fan. For dessert, we had our eyes on this Taiwanese wheel cake stand and their amazing looking treats. Ta-da! So we have here some wheel cakes. You have different flavors of wheel cakes. You have some azuki beans, you had some vanilla, matcha or chocolate. So how can you see the difference? This one is a matcha one. Matcha wheel cake. And we ordered a second one because we wanted to try a bit of everything. This one is a vanilla custard wheel cake. Nice way to recognize them to be fair. That's pretty cute. One is a leaf for matcha and one is... What would you say that is? Cinnabon. Yeah, but cinnabon would be cinnamon, isn't it? Anywho, vanilla. Let's try it. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mmm. It's so hot and steamy inside. The custard is not too sweet. Mmm. I'm melting. Mm. It's all creamy inside. So, so good. I love it. Oh. You should yeah. definitely try the vanilla custard one. The custard is light, creamy. Not too sweet, nice and hot. Mm, it warms you up in the inside. Let me have a bite of this wheel cake. Too bad. <laughs> very warm. So it's sort of sweet. Not sweet. Very subtle. You can definitely feel the, um, the vanilla. Mm, very good. Oh, I love this custard. Warm, not too sweet. And the cake shell. It's fluffy, very fluffy and a little slightly crusty on the outside. Oh. I love this one. Oh. All the cream here was like oozing out when I beat into it. But matcha wise, if you like matcha taste, that's very like matcha. Mm. To my taste, I like the vanilla custard better. But still very, very nice if you're fond of matcha. The same as the other one. Crispy outside, very soft inside, and custardy. Nice and custardy inside. Mm. I feel like I can eat tons of those. Um, since I have azuki flavor, like the red bean stuff, I have the matcha, vanilla, chocolate one. It's good they have a variety of choice. So each taste is different. I mean, all the other are always the same, right? But the feeling, mm -hmm. 10 of 10. That's all we have left. Uh oh. <laughs> it's matcha. But as you agree with Lily, and the vanilla one is better. It's so good. Mm. It's like green tea, it's quite bitter, so you need to like it. I got a nice baklava. Oh, it looks, oh, it looks so awesome. Very moist. There's a lot of syrup on there. It will be messy once again. Oh, no, this is not love. It's very sweet. A lot of pistachios in there. It would be, it'd be better with a nice mint tea. Maybe you can find a place to have some. But good baklava. Mm, it's so flaky. Mm, it's very awesome. So that's it for today's Yum Yum Adventure, guys. We hope you liked it. We were in Old Spitterfields Market today, and the food can be quite hit and miss, but some of them I'm pretty sure are good. So definitely come and pay a visit, try some food, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Bye. But one thing they got wrong, sadly, this is the culprit. I don't like peppers. <laughs> <laughs>